That's going to have a big impact for people leaving central Indiana towards Chicago. Or Hoosiers in the path of the storm just trying to get home tomorrow night. Well, Authority Meteorologist John DeSauer has new data in tonight. He's here to help track the path of the storm. Hey, John. Hey, Matt. Yeah, we first started tracking the storm. It was, it was moving across the Pacific Ocean. And now as it's coming out of the Rocky Mountains, you can see snow spreading across portions of Nebraska. Now reaching over towards Iowa. And this storm is going to continue moving off to the east. Ahead of the storm, winter weather advisories in purple, blizzard warnings in red, and winter storm warnings are in effect through tomorrow and into tomorrow night. That does include the Chicago area, back towards the Quad Cities, Des Moines, Iowa, and Kansas City included in that blizzard warning, where winds will be gusting over 40 miles per hour at times tomorrow, and visibilities will be less than a half mile due to the blowing snow in some areas. We're talking some big snow as well out across portions of Iowa, Missouri, as well as portions of Illinois, where they could see six to 10 inches of snow widespread. There could be pockets of 12 inches or more in portions of eastern Iowa and northern Illinois by tomorrow night. So some big mess if you're heading northwest on I-74 or west on I-70. And this could also impact air operations tomorrow at O'Hare. Not as much snow expected in the Chicago O'Hare area, but with a lot of this going on, that could have some impacts on air travel. You can see on future views as we take you through the day tomorrow, I highly advise not going west on I-74 or I-80 or I-70. But not too bad once you head down towards the St. Louis area. It's as you get towards Columbia, Missouri and back towards Kansas City, things begin to deteriorate very quickly.